Guys, we're here at the uh, Holden Bar of War. Welcome back to Cars and Things Restos. Well, we're into the last uh, code here, so I'll show you where we're at and uh, we'll get stuck into this video. Okay, so we've um Brother um, chucked a, a coat of high build on that. Uh, it's the second high build coat. We've just uh, going over it now. We, um, he's pretty happy how it's going. Uh, not getting too many rub rub throughs anywhere. So we've got, we've got 320 on there at the moment. Paper. And we're rubbing it back with 320. We don't get any rub throughs. We will probably go to. Uh, 400 wet sand so we'll get into this and we'll see what it looks like once we've got it all rubbed back morning guys we're just prepping uh, all our uh, inner fender panels or uh, guard panels um, ready for paint we're doing that with uh, the one coat the solid uh, we're gonna do all the inside of the jams here uh, on the doors um, and we're gonna flip the bonnet and do the underside of the bonnet and the insides of the guards so uh, just getting all prepped up now and uh, Actually, I'm going to go and have smoke out now, so when I get back, we'll slip in the booth. We might wash the booth out first and give them a lick of paint, so we'll see how they come up. Radio. We're just uh, heating everything up in here. We've had uh, all the gas heaters and the heating arm. We'll get it up. There's 20 degrees in this room in here. The booth's at uh, 40 degrees, it was. Um, it's probably come down a little bit now. Now we've had uh, opened her up. And, no, no, it's still pretty hot in here. Um, so, got everything ready prepped, ready to go. So now we'll mix up some paint, we'll stick a coat on it and see how it comes up.
Ja, 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 Looks okay at the moment anyway. In it. Sorry if you can't hear me. I got my mask on. Still a bit skinny in here. So just warming her up again here. So all good coats. It's all got good cover coverage on it. Uh, Glad I come in with a uh, with a torch with a light. And we went over everything and we found a, a little bit of mist on here. Uh, so I had to give that another hit. Um, and there's a little bit uh, just on the front edge here that I'd uh, miss. So I'll give that a lick. And everything else is pretty good, so nice and shiny. Not much shit in it. Pretty happy about that. You never not get shit in it, you always will. Um, but that bad off the gun, pretty happy with it. Looks pretty good, so. All right. It should be tacked up by now, but we've got to let it dry. So we're going to try and warm the boots up, get it pretty hot in here. And uh, let it set and we'll have a look when it's all dry. See what happens. Yeah, morning guys. So last night uh, we finished up on the, the cab, rubbing it back with 400. It's come up pretty sweet, we're pretty happy with it. Only one little thing. Here there was, I'm not sure we can see it, there's a mark, like a sand scratch mark in there. We'll, um, but we're going to rub it back with 600 today, um, so that will get most of the sand scratches out of it, I'm, I'm hoping. It's pretty flat, pretty smooth. Um, so this morning I've just been cleaning it up a bit. Um, uh, yeah, Jamie, when he was putting his engine in, he's putting his wiring harness in it, he scratched all the paint on the firewall. Um, this was a, a panel beater, just painted all the firewall for him, um, and they did a pretty good job. They filled all the all the, the, the heater box and everything in, um, and they painted all the under the back there and underneath it. Um, and then James asked us to finish it off, um, but he scratched it. Um, so what I've done is I've taped it all up. Um, I'm rubbing it back flatten out the scratches and I'm going to just paint that that whole strip out the front there and um, it should come up pretty sweet I, I don't even think you'll see it in the car um, but um, he was a bit pissed off that he scratched it so I thought well you know what it's not much work to tape it all up and uh, and give it a lick of paint so I'll go and do that this morning and we're going to paint all the inside just going to clean it all up prep it all the back get all the undercoat all that and then off it Oh my god. Yeah, we'll get all the, uh, wipe it all down, and I'm gonna give, uh, shoot some black in here, um, to seal it all off. Um, and I've also got a paint, uh, this here, I've got some satin black there to paint, paint this. Uh, I want all that done, uh, prior to taping it all up before we paint it, uh, hopefully on Monday. Alright, so, uh, that's all I'm doing on, uh, this morning. Um, and, uh, when brother gets here, um, I think we're going to rub it all back, so we'll see what he's got to say when he gets up here. Rightio. Check out the girl out in the sun. Looks like 
looks good. Okay, wrap, come up, shit on. Got that covered, fixed up all the scratches in it. Let's hope it comes out the same colour because that's the colour we had mixed up where the colour on the firewall was done by somebody else. But I think it's the same colour. Uh, done the, the top of the dash, that's in satin black. And I gave it a lick in here with just a bit of black, just to tidy it up. Um, and it just, uh, it gets all covered with dead, dead there and carpet and everything, but we just wanted it to look nice and neat. Um, so there we are. So that's probably it, it for this morning. We'll get back onto it on Monday. And um, we'll be sanding back doing the uh, last 600 on it. So that's all going well. Make sure the heat is off. Yep. And brother's out here. Just sanding the uh, doors back. They've come up pretty, pretty sweet. I've been working on the bonnet. These have come up pretty straight, haven't they, brother? No rub throughs or anything. So that's with 400. So now we'll uh, they'll wash all off, and on Monday morning, we'll they'll be getting done with 600 as well. And uh, just ready, ready. Been prepped for paint. Then we're onto the bonnet. We've got a few highs and lows to fix in the bonnet. Um, we knew there'd be a few, but it's just it's getting there. Um, it'll come up all right. All right. We'll see you Monday. Righty-o. Just unwrapped it. Oh, get out of the sunlight. So you can see it. So this bit here uh, was done by a local panel beater or spray painter. Um, there's a fair bit of orange peel in it, um, but you know, I'm gonna leave all that. I did this bit here, it's come up really, really good actually. The color is exact, um, we asked that. Um, it's cobalt blue, um, Ford Australia cobalt blue. So, um, yeah, so all them scratches are in it, come up pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with the color match. Um, don't want to brag but mine's pretty well flat there's no no freaking orange peel in it whatsoever it was pretty easy to do um anyway there we are there's the start of that uh now we're going to get it all rubbed back with 600 and tape it all off and i reckon we paint it tomorrow we'll see how right we go on. that's all been rubbed back with 600 i'm not sure it's a bit hard but when you if it's coming out on the camera but it is flat as flat there's I just went over it then and just got all the little sand scratch marks out of it and it is just perfect we're very very happy with that so that door that door there is ready for paint now we just got to do the cab well guys um just been rubbing it back with 600 i'll show you what's going on with it but firstly i just want to let everybody know that we finally made it to a thousand subscribers i'm absolutely stoked I thank each and every one of you for jumping on and supporting us. It's been absolutely marvellous. Um, we've loved doing it and um, we love the feedback. There's a lot of you that uh, give me feedback all the time. I really appreciate it. You're a great bunch of blokes. Um, and I'll keep on doing it as long as you guys want it. Good stuff. Okay, so uh, I did tell you that um, I was going to let you know who the 1,000th subscriber was. Um, and that person was Graham Monger. Uh, thanks buddy for being the thousand subscriber, but look, I thank each and every one of you that have got on subscribed, especially the guys that got right at the beginning and got on and, and, uh, and said a few comments and, and uh, got me getting going and putting more and more out and uh, wanting to see what we do. So uh, good on yous all. Hope we get a lot more um, and we can keep getting this channel up and going and uh, we can do bigger and better things for so you. What I want to show you is what I've done. I've just rubbed the roof back with 600. I've done all the sides. Uh, and now the roof and I wanted to show you why we go to 600 is uh, because we've rubbed it back with wet and dry with 400 and if you if I can get it out of the light it stops flickering bloody camera you'll be able to see all these little uh, there we go 
See all the little scratches that are still in it? Uh, it looks smooth after you've done it with 400, um, but there's all these little scratches still in it um, that we need to get out. So that's why we do it with 600, um, especially when we're painting with... Um, um, our base coat's got a lot of pearl in it. Um, if you've seen um, when I showed you the colour, uh, there's a lot of pearl in it. So they will lay down on those scratches, so we've got to get them out. Uh, so I'll just keep uh, button away here with the 600, and we're nearly okay. nearly done. She's all uh, rubbed back, I've got it all taped up. Um, there's no scratches in it, looking really nice. Um, so tomorrow, we just got, I think that's way too glossy. I think that there's not enough satin in that paint they've given me there. I'll probably have to redo that dash. Um, but the rest of it, I just got to sand back the cows uh, with 600 and tape up the window and she's ready to go in the booth. Rightio, here we are. Just uh, prepping everything. So there's this prep sole on it. Um, we've decided we're going to give it a uh, a uh, sealer. sealer. Um, brother wants to. We're going to thin down the um, high bill and uh, give it a hit with a sealer all over it. Let it that cure a little bit. Flash off and then into base coat. So it's all pretty good, it's, we're pretty happy with it. So uh, I'll tack cloth it off and we'll see how it comes out, eh? Three good coats on it, so one real light one and two good coats. Um, brother come in and went over the torch, there's a couple little light spots, so we fixed them up. Uh, so we're just letting it dry off now, and uh, I'm going to give it half an hour. Just grab the uh, denibber pads and go over and denib anything that we can see in it. And uh, then we're going to give it one more pure big coat and then we give it a real quick, fast, light coat at the end to get all that pearl to stand up. You can't see the pearl in it. Won't see the pearl in it until I put clear on it. So, uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Let's see what happens.
Righto. We've got it all finished. Base coat is on. So we put two more coats on it and a real good heavy or or what I say should say a quick spray on the last one from above to get the, the pearl to really flow out and scatter out. So it's uh, already done. Now I'm ready to stick the clear coat on it and we'll see what it comes up like. Done. Four coats are clear on it. Last one was a real good flow coat. So it's come up really, really good. Brother is absolutely wrapped. I just not that wrapped it. I think it's just how it is. I did a good job. I always do a good job. Nah. No, I'm fucking stoked. I am absolutely stoked. It's come up really. There's a little bit of rubbish in it. It's a bit hard. To keep stop getting rubbish in it, but nah, it looks really good. So hopefully Jamie will be as happy as we are. It is straight as an arrow. It's got a good gloss on it off the gun. Nah, pretty happy with that. So uh, now we're going to get this booth heated up, get it fairly hot in here, um, and uh, let it bake off for a few hours. And um, oh, I think we'll unwrap it tomorrow, do you think, brother? Yeah, yeah it'll be alright. We'll uh, untape it tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see whether we'll untape it tomorrow or we'll do it tonight. Alrighty then. Well, there it is. The HZ. She's in cobalt blue. And uh, we're pretty happy. So. Thanks again. Thanks for everybody coming along and watching. Thanks for getting us to a thousand subscribers. We really appreciate it. Um, give us a comment on what do you think on the, on the job. And uh, that's it for this, this episode. And we'll see you next time. So, oh, don't forget to subscribe. Everybody jump on and subscribe and like. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Well, guys, here you go. Um, I've got to uh, unwrap my hand, so I thought I would... Um, Show you guys uh, me little scar. Okay, you ready? There it is. Nothing major. Oh, I can't even see my hand. There it is there. Uh, all because I didn't wear a glove. Yeah, it's still a little bit tender. What's today? Today's Thursday and I did it on Monday. So that's it. A bit gross looking. See how it goes up into the knuckle. I'm spewing I didn't get a, a video of it when I was in the quacks. Oh, I didn't think about it till after when they were mucking around with it. I should have. Anyway, there we go. Never mind. It is what it is. Keep my button along.